Are you serious? Are you serious? What? CERN. What have we learned? Should you be concerned about CERN? Well, maybe. But CERN might have just learned a thing or two themselves. And I could have told them it. It's in the Bible. But here we go. Sometimes it takes, as my dad used to say, well, you know what? Sight cures the blind. Sometimes people got to see it to believe it. Well, CERN has uh, just released one of the big questions is science is not just why are we here, but why is anything here? According to scientists at CERN, they have been looking into this one over the last several years and there's still no good answer. In fact, the latest experiment from the physicist working on the Swiss facility in Geneva supports the idea that the universe doesn't exist. What? Then what? <laughs> Dude, we're here. Okay. Hello, CERN, CERN, CERN. We're here. Um, it certainly seems to exist as far as I'm concerned. Not that I'm CERN, concerned about CERN, CERN. I'm concerned that CERN is concerned that we don't exist, but we do. So what are we missing here? So the particles, the physicists, the standard model describes the four known fundamental forces in the universe. Number one, gravitational. Okay. Number two, electromagnetic. All right. Number three, weak and strong. The first two have very clear con uh, consequences in the universe, while the other two are detectable only at the subatomic scale. The standard model has been supported by the ex experimentation, but it predicts that the Big Bang that created the universe would have resulted in an equal amount of matter, us and everything around us, and antimatter, which is very rare. If, they're, if they were equal, why didn't the early universe cancel itself out, leaving just the sea of energy? Okay, so scientists have been searching for some feature of matter or antimatter that would have made the early universe asymmetrical. They, the problem is, however, is that antimatter is extremely difficult to study. In other words, my hand is matter. The air in between my hand is considered antimatter. So my hand is in, the matter is in, interwoven in the antimatter. Okay, okay, hang on a minute. So it's hard to analyze antimatter. Scientists have been able to determine that antimatter uh, has symmetric mass and charge. But researchers at CERN, what? What's going on behind me? Why is my screen going dead? Why is my screen? See, that might be the problem. Maybe CERN is messing with my system. CERN, CERN, what have we learned with CERN? I mean, come on, guys. All right. I mean, what in the world? Now that's too bright. See, it affects the lights. Blinded by the light. Oh, seriously. So, so I'm going to have to turn that back on. To, uh, to change the light a little. We're doing a little. <laughs> this was not planned, I can tell you. I don't understand why that went down. But we're, we're, we're fine. I'm fine now. I just turned it back on. But, but that shows you that every, every, with every action, there's a reaction. Okay? And, it, and same thing in light. So here's what it says. Scientists have been searching for uh, some feature of matter or antimatter that would have made the early universe asymmetrical, okay? Scientists have been able to determine that antimatter has symmetric mass and charge. But researchers at CERN uh, have only just found a way to analyze its magnetic moment, the way it responds to magnetic interactions. So, all right, all right, I, I understand that. There's no container in the world that can store antimatter on its own because all containers are made of antimatter. So however, the team developed a special super cold chamber that used a magnetic field to suspend antiprotons 
freeze the proton, freeze the anti-protons, uh, essentially an anti-hydrogen nucleus. Now the sample was suspended in the field of 405 days, allowing the base team to take exacting measurements of its magnetic moment. The result is a dash uh, negative 2.792847344 nuclear megatons. What? That's the exact uh, uh, symmetric opposite of a normal proton. The magnetic moment isn't what caused the original imbalance in the universe. The team is confident in its accuracy of its measurement, which they estimate to be 350 times more precise than past estimates of the anti-proton magnetic moment. Sounds like it's a magnetic moment. Seriously. So we still don't know why the universe exists, or they don't know why it doesn't exist over there at CERN, but... This isn't the end of the investigation, and that's good. Uh, the next step is to analyze the gravity of antimatter, and CERN is already working on that. Now, folks, seriously, this is a very serious uh, comprehend comprehensive study going on here. They're trying to understand how in the world did God say, let there be light, and there was light. How the light came out of the darkness. Now, Apostle Paul spoke about this very thing. If he was here, he would probably go down to Geneva and speak to those at CERN. Here's what he says about faith. Because faith is a lot like antimatter. It's a substance of things you're hoping for, but it's the evidence of things not seen. Antimatter is the same thing. It is a substance that exists, yet you cannot, ex you cannot see it and very, very, very difficult to contain it. You can't contain faith. You can't package faith. Faith is something that has to be expressed and then received. I give out words of faith. You receive that faith, and that changes your life, changes the molecular um, chemical makeup of your physical body as, as well as your mental and spiritual being. See, you can have a physical healing simply by accepting the words of faith. When I say that the son of righteousness shall rise with healing in his wings, you can accept that word with faith, by faith, and a molecular rearrangement can start to happen in your life. But let me tell you what the Bible says. We're getting deep here. Uh, Hebrews 11 says, now faith is a substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. By it, the elders obtained a good report. Screens are going crazy. CERN's messing with me. CERN! CERN! So through faith, uh, this is unbelievable that they're doing this. I, I, I'm really stunned at what's going on here behind me. Um, so... Through faith, we understand the worlds were framed by the word of God. Through faith, we understand that the worlds, the planets, the universe, the solar system, everything, that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So it doesn't, scientifically makes sense that the world exists, that the universe exists. That's exactly what CERN is saying. It doesn't scientifically make sense that the universe exists. And Paul said that scientifically it shouldn't exist except by faith God spoke it and it does exist. Are you serious? What have we learned at CERN? I'm going to show you something else. I learned this, that uh, when you adjust the light behind you, it affects the light in front of you. Think about that one a while. I didn't even know this was... Folks, I don't even know what's going on because this never happens. 
So, see? See, I mean, this is really weird. Maybe they're messing with me. That's it.